we have to look at it as a crime scene. I would never have hopped on that plane. I didn't like the feel of things. Are you aware of Ethan being the victim of bullying? I am aware that he was the victim of an assault. The big question is, how did he get in the river? There's something about this scene that just didn't make sense. It was really puzzling. Someone is dead, but things are not always as they seem. Some of the clues may be at the scene, but others are harder to find. A mysterious crash. She was a nice girl. She didn't deserve to perish in the sea like this. A missing student. A young fella sees someone on the riverbank. What do they want? They want money. A fallen soldier. I thought the army was about looking after your mates and, you know, don't leave a man down and all that sort of stuff, but... A fatal knife wound. There started being rumours of people being in the wrong place at the wrong time. One man dead, another with amnesia. The real mystery was how did we end up with this boat floating there and the survivor was unable to say anything at that stage. Behind each tragedy lie unanswered questions. The forensic evidence that you're going to get from your scene is gold. You're not relying on what people are telling you, you're relying on what the facts say. Well, I would have expected at this scene to have found the bag and the contents tipped over, maybe spread around. Any drug which is active on the central nervous system, we're very careful about. The Yassi's body was over there against the reeds. Sometimes you wonder if you're actually going to get to the end of cases like this. And families in need of closure. I remember thinking, if she has to be dead, at least make it quick. One thing that I'd like people to learn out of all this that has happened would be not to take the sea for granted. What I'd say to them, which I probably didn't say to them enough, was just how much I love them. And I miss you, mate. I miss you every day. I would have told him not to leave my sight, because <laughs> I know he wouldn't if I asked him. Cause of death seeks to unravel the mystery behind each loss. There was always the three scenarios. Was it a homicide, was it a suicide, or was it accidental? I was able to demonstrate the river flow patterns were in accordance with the police's hypothesis of how the body had moved. The early indications were that the type of patterning that this young fellow had in his fingerprints appeared to be consistent with the print on the knife. The DNA showed that the DNA only could have come from the, the, the deceased, not from anybody else. You can have highs and lows in investigations, and they can be real roller coasters at times. We still had to determine whether what they told us was the truth. Had he, in fact, disappeared? Had he fallen in the river of his own volition? Or did they, in fact, throw him in the river? Cause of death unknown. That's about the time that he said that everything's going to depend on forensic. No pressure. Any investigators primary motive in any investigation must be the pursuit of the truth and that's really what drives you.